Nichiren Buddhism is a branch of Mahayana Buddhism based on the teachings of the 13th century Japanese Buddhist priest Nichiren and is one of the Kamakura Buddhism schools. Its teachings derive from some 300 to 400 extant letters and treatises attributed to Nichiren, with the advent, and proselytizing efforts, of the Soka Gakkai International, called the most prominent Japanese export. Religion to draw significant numbers of non Japanese converts, Nichiren Buddhism has spread throughout the world. Within Nichiren Buddhism, there are two major divisions which fundamentally differ over whether Nichiren should be regarded as a bodhisattva of the earth, a saint, great teacher or the actual Buddha of the Third Age of Buddhism. Several Japanese new religions are Nichiren inspired lay groups. It is practiced worldwide, with practitioners throughout the United States, Brazil and Europe, as well as in South Korea and Southeast Asia. The largest sects are the Soka Gakkai, Soka Gakkai International, Nichiren Shu, and Nichiren Shosha. Nichiren Buddhism focuses on the Lotus Sutra doctrine that all people have an innate Buddha nature and are therefore inherently capable of attaining enlightenment in their current form and present lifetime. Nichiren proposed a classification system that ranks the quality of religions and various Nichiren schools can be either accommodating or vigorously opposed to any other forms of Buddhism or religious beliefs. There are three essential aspects to Nichiren Buddhism. The undertaking of faith. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo accompanied by selected recitations of the Lotus Sutra and teaching others to do the same. The study of Nichiren's scriptural writings called Gosho, the Nichiren Gohonzon is a calligraphic image which is prominently displayed in the home or temple buildings of its believers. The Gohonzon used in Nichiren Buddhism is composed of the names of key bodhisattvas and Buddhas in the Lotus Sutra as well as Namu Myoho Renge Kyo written in large characters down the center. After his death, Nichiren left to his followers the mandate to widely propagate the Gohonzon and Daimoku in order to secure the peace and prosperity of society. Traditional Nichiren Buddhist temple groups are commonly associated with Nichiren Shosha and varying Nichiren Shu schools. There are also modern 21st century lay groups not affiliated with temples such as Soka Gakkai, Kenshikai, Shishinkai, Risho Kosei Kai, and Hanman Butsoryu Shu. Topic: <laughs> Basic teachings. Topic: The basic practice of Nichiren Buddhism is chanting the invocation Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to a mandala inscribed by Nichiren called the Gohonzon. Embracing Nam Myoho Renge Kyo entails both chanting and having the mind of faith Shinjin. Both the invocation and the Gohonzon, as taught by Nichiren, embody the title and essence of the Lotus Sutra, which he taught as the only valid scripture for the latter day of the law, as well as the life state of Buddhahood inherent in all life. Nichiren considered that in the latter day of the law, a time of human strife and confusion, when Buddhism would be in decline, Buddhism had to be more than the theoretical or meditative practice it had become, but was meant to be practiced with the body, that is, in one's actions and the consequent results that are manifested. More important than the formality of ritual, he claimed, was the substance of the practitioner's life in which the spiritual and material aspects are interrelated. He considered conditions in the world to be a reflection of the conditions of the inner lives of people. The premise of his first major remonstrance, Risho Ankoku Ran, establishing the correct teaching for the peace of the land, is that if a nation abandons heretical forms of Buddhism and adopts faith in the Lotus Sutra, the nation will know peace and security. He considered his disciples the Bodhisattvas of the earth, who appeared in the Lotus Sutra with the vow to spread the correct teaching and thereby establish a peaceful and just society. The specific task to be pursued by Nichiren's disciples was the widespread propagation of his teachings, the invocation and the Gohonzon, in a way that would affect actual change in the world's societies, so that the sanctuary or seat of Buddhism could be built. Nichiren saw this sanctuary as a specific seat of his Buddhism, but there is thought that he also meant it in a more general sense, that is, wherever his Buddhism would be practiced. This sanctuary, along with the invocation and Gohonzon, comprise the three great secret laws or dharmas found in the Lotus Sutra. <laughs> Nichiren Topic. Nichiren and his time Topic. Nichiren Buddhism originated in 13th-century feudal Japan. 
It is one of six new forms of Shin Bukkyo English, new Buddhism, of Kamakura Buddhism. The arrival of these new schools was a response to the social and political upheaval in Japan during this time as power passed from the nobility to a shogunate military dictatorship led by the Minamoto clan and later to the Hojo clan. A prevailing pessimism existed associated with the perceived arrival of the age of the latter day of the law. The era was marked by an intertwining relationship between Buddhist schools and the state which included clerical corruption. By Nichiren's time the Lotus Sutra was firmly established in Japan. From the 9th century, Japanese rulers decreed that the Lotus Sutra be recited in temples for its nation-saving qualities. It was the most frequently read and recited sutra by the literate lay class and its message was disseminated widely through art, folk tales, music, and theater. It was commonly held that it had powers to bestow spiritual and worldly benefits to individuals. However, even Mount Hiei, the seat of Tiantai Lotus Sutra devotion, had come to adopt an eclectic assortment of esoteric rituals and pure land practices as expedient means to understand the sutra itself. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development during Nichiren's life. Topic: Nichiren developed his thinking in this midst of confusing Lotus Sutra practices and a competing array of other Old Buddhism and New Buddhism schools. The biographical development of his thinking is sourced almost entirely from his extant writings, as there is no documentation about him in the public records of his times. Modern scholarship on Nichiren's life tries to provide sophisticated textual and socio historical analyses to cull long standing myths about Nichiren that accrued over time from what is actually concretized. It is clear that from an early point in his studies, Nichiren came to focus on the Lotus Sutra as the culmination and central message of Shakyamuni. As his life unfolded, he engaged in a circular hermeneutic in which the interplay of the Lotus Sutra text and his personal experiences verified and enriched each other in his mind. As a result, there are significant turning points as his teachings reach full maturity. Scholar Yoshiro Tamura categorizes the development of Nichiren's thinking into three periods. An early period extending up to Nichiren's submission of the Risho Ankoku Ron, establishment of the legitimate teaching for the protection of the country to Hojo Tokiyori in 1260, a middle period bookmarked by his first exile to Izu Peninsula, 1261, and his release from his second exile to Sato Island, 1273, a final period 1274 to 1282, in which Nichiren lived in Mount Minobu directing his movement from afar. Topic. Early stage, from initial studies to 1260. Topic. For more than 20 years Nichiren examined Buddhist texts and commentaries at Mount Hiei's Enraiku-ji temple and other major centers of Buddhist study in Japan. In later writings he claimed he was motivated by four primary questions, one what were the essentials of the competing Buddhist sects so they could be ranked according to their merits and flaws. Two, which of the many Buddhist scriptures that had reached Japan represented the essence of Shakyamuni? S. Teaching? 3. How could he be assured of the certainty of his own enlightenment? 4. Why was the imperial house defeated by the Kamakura regime in 1221 despite the prayers and rituals of Tendai and Shingon priests? He eventually concluded that the highest teachings of Shakyamuni Buddha c. 563 c. 483 BC were to be found in the Lotus Sutra. Throughout his career Nichiren carried his personal copy of the Lotus Sutra which he continually annotated. The mantra he expounded on 28 April 1253, known as the Daimoku or Odaimoku, Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, expresses his devotion to the Lotus Sutra. From this early stage of his career, Nichiren started to engage in fierce polemics criticizing the teachings of Buddhism taught by the other sects of his day, a practice that continued and expanded throughout his life. Although Nichiren accepted the Tendai theoretical constructs of original enlightenment Hongaku Shiso, and attaining Buddhahood in one's present form. So Kushin Jobutsu he drew a distinction, insisting both concepts should be seen as practical and realizable amidst the concrete realities of daily life. He took issue with other Buddhist schools of his time that stressed transcendence over immanence. Nichiren's emphasis on self-power 
JPN G Ricky led him to harshly criticize Honan and his Pure Land Buddhism school because of its exclusive reliance on Amida Buddha for salvation which resulted in other dependence. JPN Ta Ricky in addition to his critique of Pure Land Buddhism he later expanded his polemics to criticisms of the Zen, Shingon and Ritsu sects. These four critiques were later collectively referred to as his four dictums. Later in his writings, Nichiren referred to his early exegeses of the Pure Land teachings as just the starting point for his polemics against the esoteric teachings, which he had deemed as a far more significant matter of concern. Adding to his criticisms of esoteric Shingon, Nichiren wrote detailed condemnations about the Tendai school which had abandoned its Lotus Sutra exclusiveness and incorporated esoteric doctrines and rituals as well as faith in the soteriological power of Amida Buddha, the target of his tactics expanded during the early part of his career. Between 1253 and 1259 he proselytized and converted individuals, mainly attracting mid to lower ranking samurai and local landholders and debated resident priests in pure land temples. In 1260, however, he attempted to directly reform society as a whole by submitting a treatise entitled, Risho Ankoku Ron, Establishment of the Legitimate Teaching for the Protection of the Country, to Hojo Tokiyori, the de facto leader of the nation. In it he cites passages from the Nino, Yakushi, Daijuku, and Konkomayo Sutras. Drawing on Tendai thinking about the non-duality of person and land, Nichiren argued that the truth and efficacy of the people's religious practice will be expressed in the outer conditions of their land and society. He thereby associated the natural disasters of his age with the nation. S. Attachment to inferior teachings, predicted foreign invasion and internal rebellion, and called for the return to legitimate dharma to protect the country. Although the role of Buddhism in nation protection Chingo Koka, was well established in Japan at this time, in this thesis Nichiren explicitly held the leadership of the country directly responsible for the safety of the land. Topic. Middle stage, 1261-1273 Topic. During the middle stage of his career, in refuting other religious schools publicly and vociferously, Nichiren provoked the ire of the country's rulers and of the priests of the sects he criticized. As a result, he was subjected to persecution which included two assassination attempts, an attempted beheading and two exiles. His first exile, to Izu Peninsula 1261 convinced Nichiren that he was "...bodily reading the Lotus Sutra JPN. Hak Shikidoku. Fulfilling the predictions on the 13th chapter Fortitude that votaries would be persecuted by ignorant lay people, influential priests, and their friends in high places, Nichiren began to argue that through bodily reading the Lotus Sutra, rather than just studying its text for literal meaning, a country and its people could be protected. According to Habito, Nichiren argued that bodily reading the Lotus Sutra entails four aspects. The awareness of Sakyamuni Buddha's living presence, bodily reading the Lotus Sutra, is equivalent to entering the very presence of the Buddha in an immediate, experiential, and face-to-face -face way, he claimed. Here Nichiren is referring to the primordial Buddha revealed in Chapter 16, Life Span of the Thus Come One, who eternally appears and engages in human events in order to save living beings from their state of unhappiness. One contains all. Nichiren further developed the Tiantai doctrine of 3,000 realms in a single thought moment. Every thought, word, or deed contains within itself the whole of the 3,000 realms. Reading even one word of the sutra therefore includes the teachings and merits of all Buddhas. Chanting Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, according to Nichiren, is the concrete means by which the principle of the 3,000 realms in a single thought moment is activated and assures the attainment of enlightenment as well as receiving various kinds of worldly benefit. The here and now. Nichiren held that the bodily reading of the sutra must be applicable to time, place, and contemporary events. Nichiren was acutely aware of the social and political turmoil of his country and spiritual confusion of people in the latter day of the law utmost seriousness. True practitioners must go beyond mental or verbal practices and actively speak up against and oppose prevailing thoughts and philosophies that denigrate the message of the Lotus Sutra. Nichiren set the example and was willing to lay down his life for its propagation and realization. His three-year exile to Sato Island proved to be another key turning point in Nichiren's thinking. 
Here he began inscribing the Gohanzen and wrote several major theses in which he claimed that he was functioning, at first, in the role of Bodhisattva never disparaging of the 20th chapter of the Lotus Sutra and, later, as Bodhisattva Superior Practices, the leader of the Bodhisattvas of the Earth. In his work The True Object of Worship, he identified himself as functioning as the primordial Buddha, one and the same as the eternal law represented by the mantra Namu Myoho Renge Kyo which he physically embodied as the Gohonzon Mandala. This has been described as embodying the same condition or state he attained in a physical object of devotion worship so that others could attain that equivalent condition of enlightenment. During this time the Daimoku becomes the means to directly access the Buddha's enlightenment, he concludes his work The Opening of the Eyes with the declaration, I will be the pillar of Japan, I will be the eyes of Japan, I will be the vessel of Japan. Inviolable shall remain these vows. His thinking now went beyond theories of karmic retribution or guarantees of the Lotus Sutra as a protective force. Rather, he expressed a resolve to fulfill his mission despite the consequences. All of his disciples, he asserted, should emulate his spirit and work just like him in helping all people open their innate Buddha lives even though this means entails encountering enormous challenges. Topic. Final stage, 1274–1282 Nichiren's teachings reached their full maturity between the years 1274 and 1282 while he resided in primitive settings at Mount Minobu located in today's Yamanashi Prefecture. During this time he devoted himself to training disciples, produced most of the Gohans in which he sent to followers, and authored works constituting half of his extant writings including six treatises that were categorized by his follower Nikko as among his ten most important. In 1278 the Atsuhara Affair Atsuhara persecution occurred, culminating three years later. In the prior stage of his career, between 1261 and 1273, Nichiren endured and overcame numerous trials that were directed at him personally including assassination attempts, an attempted execution, and two exiles, thereby bodily reading the Lotus Sutra In so doing, according to him, he validated the 13th fortitude. Chapter of the Lotus Sutra in which a host of bodhisattvas promise to face numerous trials that follow in the wake of upholding and spreading the sutra in the evil age following the death of the Buddha, slander and abuse, attack by swords and staves, enmity from kings, ministers, and respected monks, and repeated banishment. On two occasions, however, the persecution was aimed at his followers. First, in 1271, in conjunction with the arrest and attempted execution of Nichiren and his subsequent exile to Sado, many of his disciples were arrested, banished, or had lands confiscated by the government. At that time, Nichiren stated, most recanted their faith in order to escape the government's actions. In contrast, during the Atsuhara episode 20 lay peasant farmer followers were arrested on questionable charges and tortured, three were ultimately executed. This time none recanted their faith. Some of his prominent followers in other parts of the country were also being persecuted but maintained their faith as well. Although Nichiren was situated in Minobu, far from the scene of the persecution, the Fuji district of present day Shizuoka Prefecture, Nichiren held his community together in the face of significant oppression through a sophisticated display of legal and rhetorical responses. He also drew on a wide array of support from the network of leading monks and lay disciples he had raised, some of whom were also experiencing persecution at the hands of the government. Throughout the events, he wrote many letters to his disciples in which he gave context to the unfolding events by asserting that severe trials have deep significance. According to Stone, by standing firm under interrogation, the Atsuhara peasants had proved their faith in Nichiren's eyes, graduating in his estimation from ignorant people to devotees meriting equally with himself the name of practitioners of the Lotus Sutra. During this time, Nichiren inscribed 114 mandalas that are extant today, 49 of which have been identified as being inscribed for individual lay followers and which may have served to deepen the bond between teacher and disciple. In addition, a few very large mandalas were inscribed, apparently intended for use at gathering places, suggesting the existence of some type of conventicle structure. The Atsuhara affair also gave Nichiren the opportunity to better define what was to become Nichiren Buddhism. He stressed that meeting great trials was a part of the practice of the Lotus Sutra. The great persecutions of Atsuhara were not results of karmic retribution but were the historical unfolding of the Buddhist Dharma. 
The vague single good of the true vehicle which he advocated in the Risho Ankoku Ran now took final form as chanting the Lotus Sutras de Moku or title which he described as the heart of the origin teaching Hanman Ben Men of the Lotus Sutra. This, he now claimed, lay hidden in the depths of the 16th the lifespan of the Tathagata chapter, never before being revealed, but intended by the Buddha solely for the beginning of the final Dharma age. Nichiren's writings A prolific writer, Nichiren's personal communiques among his followers as well as numerous treatises detail his view of the correct form of practice for the latter day of the law lay out his views on other Buddhist schools, particularly those of influence during his lifetime, and elucidate his interpretations of Buddhist teachings that preceded his. These writings are collectively known as Gosho Yushu or Nichiren Iban, Rilien Yi Wen out of 162 historically identified followers of Nichiren, 47 were women. Many of his writings were to women followers in which he displays strong empathy for their struggles, and continually stressed the Lotus Sutra S teaching that all people, men and women equally, can become enlightened just as they are. His voice is sensitive and kind which differs from the strident picture painted about him by critics, which of these writings, including the Angi Kudan orally transmitted teachings, are deemed authentic or apocryphal as a matter of debate within the various schools of today's Nichiren Buddhism. One of his most important writings the Risho Ankoku Ran, preserved at Shochuzen Hokakyoji, is one of the national treasures of Japan. Post-Nichiren development in Japan Topic. Topic. Development in medieval Japan Topic. After Nichiren's death in 1282 the Kamakura Sogonate weakened largely due to financial and political stresses resulting from defending the country from the Mongols. It was replaced by the Ashikaga Muromachi Sogonate Zuli Mu Fu or Shi Ting Mu Fu, 1336-1573, which in turn was succeeded by the Azuki Mamoyama period, and Tu Dao Shan Shi Dai 1573-1600, and finally the Tokugawa Sogonate, Zhang Hu Mu Fu 1600-1868. During these time periods, collectively comprising the Japan's medieval history, Nichiren Buddhism experienced considerable fracturing, growth, turbulence and decline. A prevailing characteristic of the movement in medieval Japan was its lack of understanding of Nichiren's own spiritual realization. Serious commentaries about Nichiren's theology did not appear for almost 200 years. This contributed to divisive doctrinal confrontations that were often superficial and dogmatic. The long history of foundings, divisions, and mergers have led to today's 37 legally incorporated Nichiren Buddhist groups. After the era, in the modern period, Nichiren Buddhism experienced a revival, largely initiated by lay people and lay movements. Topic: <laughs> Development of the major lineages. Topic. Several denominations comprise the umbrella term, Nichiren Buddhism, which was known at the time as the Hakushu Lotus School or Nichirenshu Nichiren School. The splintering of Nichiren's teachings into different schools began several years after Nichiren's passing. Despite their differences, however, the Nichiren groups shared commonalities, asserting the primacy of the Lotus Sutra, tracing Nichiren as their founder, centering religious practice on chanting Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, using the Gohonzon in meditative practice, insisting on the need for propagation, and participating in remonstrations with the authorities. The movement was supported financially by local warlords or stewards who often founded tightly organized clan temples that were frequently led by sons who became priests. Most Nichiren schools point to the founding date of their respective head or main temple for example, Nichiren Shu the year 1281, Nichiren Shosha the year 1288, and Kempen Hak Shu the year 1384 although they did not legally incorporate as religious bodies until the late 19th and early 20th century. A last wave of temple mergers took place in the 1950s, the roots of this splintering can be traced to the organization of the Nichiren community during his life. In 1282, one year before his death, Nichiren named 
six senior priests. Rokuroso, disciple to lead his community, Niko Shonen, Ri Shing Nisho, Ri Jiao Nichiro, Ri Lang Niko, Ri Shang Nicho, Ri Ding and Nichi Ji. Each had led communities of followers in different parts of the Kanto region of Japan, and these groups, after Nichiren's death, ultimately morphed into lineages of schools. Niko Shonen, Nichiro, and Nisho were the core of the Manobu, also known as the Niko or Kuanji, Monryu or school. Niko became the second chief abbot of Manobu. Nichiren is considered by this school to be the first. Nichiro. S direct lineage was called the Nichiro or Hakigeatsu Monryu. Nisho S lineage became the Nisho or Hama Monryu. Nicho formed the Nakayama lineage, but later returned to become a follower of Nikko. Nichiji, originally another follower of Nikko, eventually traveled to the Asian continent, ca. 1295, on a missionary journey, and some scholarship suggests he reached northern China, Manchuria, and possibly Mongolia. Kuanji Temple in Mount Minobu eventually became the head temple of today's Nichiren Shu, the largest branch among traditional schools, encompassing the schools and temples tracing their origins to Nikko, Nichiro, Nisho, Nicho, and Nichiji. The lay and or new religious movements Ryukai, Risho Kosei Kai, and Nipponzen Myohoji Daisanga stem from this lineage. Nikko left Kuanji in 1289 and became the founder of what was to be called the Nikko Monryu or lineage. He founded a center at the foot of Mount Fuji which would later be known as the Teizekiji Temple of Nichiren Shosha. The Soka Gakkai is the largest independent lay organization that shares roots with lineage. Fault lines between the various Nichiren groups crystallized over several issues. Local gods. A deeply embedded and ritualized part of Japanese village life, Nichiren schools clashed over the practice of honoring local kami by lay disciples of Nichiren. Some argued that this practice was a necessary accommodation. The group led by the monk Nikko objected to such syncretism. Content of Lotus Sutra. Some schools called Ichi argued that all chapters of the sutra should be equally valued and others called Shoretsu claimed that the latter half was superior to the former half. See below for more details. Identity of Nichiren. Some of his later disciples identified him with Visistakaritra, the leader of the Bodhisattvas of the Earth who were entrusted in Chapter 22 to propagate the Lotus Sutra. The Nikko group identified Nichiren as the original and eternal Buddha. Identification with Tiantai school. The Nisho group began to identify itself as a Tiantai school, having no objections to its esoteric practices, perhaps as an expedient means to avoid persecution from Tiantai, Pure Land, and Shingon followers. This deepened the rift with Nikko. The Three Gems. All schools of Buddhism speak of the concept of the Three Gems, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, but define it differently. Over the centuries the Nichiren schools have come to understand it differently as well. The Manobu school has come to identify the Buddha as Shakyamuni whereas the Nikko school identifies it as Nichiren. For Manobu the Dharma is Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, the Nikko school identifies it as the Namu Myoho Renge Kyo that is hidden in the 16th lifespan chapter of the Lotus Sutra the Gohonzon. Currently, Nichiren Shosha claims this specifically refers to the Dai Gohonzon whereas the Soka Gakkai holds it represents all Gohonzon. The Sangha, sometimes translated as the priest, is also interpreted differently. Manobu defines it as Nichiren, Nichiren Shosha as Nikko representing its priesthood, and the Soka Gakkai as Nikko representing the harmonious community of practitioners. The cleavage between Nichiren groups has also been classified by the so called Ichi meaning unity or harmony and Shoretsu, a contraction of two words meaning superior, inferior lineages. The Ichi lineage today comprises most of the traditional schools within Nichiren Buddhism of which the Nichiren Shu is the biggest representative although it also includes some Nikko temples. In this lineage the whole of the Lotus Sutra, both the so-called theoretical shikumen or imprinted gate and essential hanmen or original gate chapters, are venerated. While great attention is given to the second and sixteenth chapter of the Lotus Sutra, other parts of the sutra are recited. The Shoretsu lineage comprises most temples and lay groups following the Nikko Monryu. The Shoretsu group values the supremacy of the essential over the theoretical part of the Lotus Sutra. Therefore, solely the second and sixteenth chapters of the Lotus Sutra are recited. 
There are additional subdivisions in the Shoretsu group which splintered over whether the entire second half was of equal importance. The eight chapters of the second half when the assembly participates in the ceremony of the air, or specifically chapter 16, lifespan of the Tathagata. Topic: <laughs> Origin of the Fuji school. Topic: Although there were rivalries and unique interpretations among the early Hakushu lineages, none were as deep and distinct as the divide between the Nikko or Fuji school and the rest of the tradition. Animosity and discord among the six senior disciples started after the second death anniversary of Nichiren's 100th day memorial ceremony the 23rd of January 1283 when the rotation system is agreed upon the Shuso Gosenge Kiroku English, record document of founder. S. Demise and Rimbo Cho English, rotation wheel system to clean and maintain Nichiren's grave. By the third anniversary of Nichiren's passing the 13th of October 1284, these arrangements seem to have broken down. Nikko claimed that the other five senior priests no longer returned to Nichiren's tomb in Mount Minobu, citing signs of neglect at the gravesite. He took up residency and overall responsibility for Kuanji Temple while Nikko served as its doctrinal instructor. Before long tensions grew between the two concerning the behavior of Haki Nanbu Rokuro Sanenaga, the steward of the Minobu district and the temple's patron, Nikko accused Sanenaga of unorthodox practices deemed to be heretical such crafting a standing statue of Shakyamuni Buddha as an object of worship providing funding for the construction of a pure land stupa in Fuji, and visiting and worshipping at the Mishima Teisha Shinto Shrine which was an honorary shrine of the Hojo clan Sogonate. Nikko regarded the latter as a violation of Nichiren's Risho Ankoku Ron. In addition, Nikko made accusatory charges that after Nichiren's death, other disciples slowly began to gradually deviate from what Nikko viewed as Nichiren's orthodox teachings. Chief among these complaints was the syncretic practices of some of the disciples to worship images of Shakyamuni Buddha. Nikko admonished other disciple priests for signing their names, Tendai Shaman, of the Tendai Buddhist school, in documents they sent to the Kamakura government. Furthermore, Nikko alleged that the other disciples disregarded some of Nichiren. S writings written in katakana rather than in classical Chinese syllabary, Sanenaga defended his actions claiming that it was customary for his political family to provide monetary donations and make homage to the Shinto shrine of the Kamakura Sogonate. Nikko tolerated Sanenaga's acts, claiming that similar incidents occurred previously with the knowledge of Nichiren. Sanenaga sided with Nikko and Nikko departed in 1289 from Minobu. He returned to his home in Suruga province and established two temples, Teizeki-ji in the Fuji district and Hanman-ji in Omosu district. He spent most of his life at the latter where he trained his followers. According to Stone, it is not absolutely clear that Nikko intended to completely break from the other senior disciples and start his own school. However, his followers claimed that he was the only one of the six senior disciples who maintained the purity of Nichiren's legacy. Two documents appeared, first mentioned and discovered by Teizeki G. High Priest Nikkyo Shonen in 1488, claiming Nichiren transferred his teaching exclusively to Nikko but their authenticity has been questioned. Teizeki G. does not dispute that the original documents are missing but holds that certified copies are preserved in their repositories. In contrast, other Nichiren sects vehemently claim them as forgeries since they are not in the original handwriting of Nichiren or Nikko, holding they were copied down by Nikko's disciples after his death. In addition to using the letters to defend its claim to orthodoxy, the documents may have served to justify Teizeki G. S. claimed superiority over other Nikko temples, especially Ikigami Hanman G, the site of Nichiren's tomb. Even though there had been efforts by temples of the Nikko lineage in the late 19th century to unify into one single separate Nichiren school the common ha, today's Nichiren Shosha comprises only the Teizeki-ji temple and its dependent temples. It is not identical to the historical Nikko or Fuji lineage. Parts of the common ha, the Hanman Shu, eventually became part of Nichiren Shu in the 1950s. New religious movements like Soka Gakkai, Shishinkai, and Kenzhakai trace their origins to the Nichiren Shosha school. 
15th century through the early 19th century. In the early 14th century Hakushu followers spread the teachings westward and established congregations into the imperial capital of Kyoto and as far as Bizen and Bichu. During this time there is documentation of face-to-face -face public debates between Hakushu and Nembutsu adherents. By the end of the century Hakushu temples had been founded all over Kyoto, only being outnumbered by Zen temples. The demographic base of support in Kyoto were members of the merchant class JPN, Machishu, some of whom had acquired great wealth. Tanabe hypothesizes they were drawn to this faith because of Nichiren's emphasis on the third realm JPN, Homen of the Lotus Sutra, staked out in chapters 10–22, which emphasize practice in the mundane world. In the 15th century, the political and social order began to collapse and Hakushu followers armed themselves. The Hak Iki was an uprising in 1532 of Hak followers against the followers of the Pure Land School in 1532. Initially successful it became the most powerful religious group in Kyoto but its fortunes were reversed in 1536 when Mount Hiei armed forces destroyed 21 Hakushu temples and killed some 58,000 of its followers. In 1542 permission was granted by the government to rebuild the destroyed temples and the Hak Machishu played a crucial role in rebuilding the commerce, industry, and arts in Kyoto. Their influence in the arts and literature continued through the Mamoyama (1568–1615) and Edo (1615–1868) periods, and many of the most famous artists and literati were drawn from their ranks. Although the various sects of Nichiren Buddhism were administratively independent, there is evidence of cooperation between them. For example, in 1466 the major Hak temples in Kyoto signed the Kansho Era Accord to protect themselves against threats from Mount Hiei. Despite strong sectarian differences, there is also evidence of interactions between Hakushu and Tendai scholar monks. During the Edo period, with the consolidation of power by the Tokugawa shogunate, increased pressure was placed major Buddhist schools and Nichiren temples to conform to governmental policies. Some Hakushu adherents, the followers of the so called Fuju Fuse lineage, adamantly bucked this policy based on their readings of Nichiren s teachings to neither take fuju nor give fuse offerings from non-believers. Suppressed, adherents often held their meetings clandestinely which led to the fuju fuse persecution and numerous executions of believers in 1668. During this time of persecution, most likely to prevent young priests from adopting a passion for propagation, Nichiren seminaries emphasized Tendai studies with only a few top-ranking students permitted to study some of Nichiren. S writings during the Edo period, the majority of Hakushu temples were subsumed into the shogunate. S Danka system, an imposed nationwide parish system designed to ensure religious peace and root out Christianity. In this system, Buddhist temples, in addition to their ceremonial duties, were forced to carry out state administrative functions. Thereby, they became agents of the government and were prohibited to engage in any missionary activities. Hakushu temples were now obligated, just like those of other Buddhist schools, to focus on funeral and memorial services soshiki bukkyo as their main activity. Stagnation was often the price for the protected status. 19th century, from Tokugawa to Meiji periods Nichiren Buddhism was deeply influenced by the transition from the Tokugawa (1600–1868) to Meiji (1868–1912) periods in 19th century Japan. The changeover from early modern Kinsei to modern Kindai was marked by the transformation of late feudal institutions into modern ones, as well as the political transition from shogunal to imperial rule and the economic shift from national isolation to integration in the world economy. This entailed creating a centralized state, stitching together some 260 feudal domains ruled by hereditary leaders daimyo, and moving from a caste social system to a meritocracy based on educational achievement. 
Although commonly perceived as a singular event called the Meiji Restoration, the transition was full of twists and turns that began in the later Tokugawa years and continued decades after the 1867–1868 demise of the Shogunate and launch of imperial rule. By this time Japanese Buddhism was often characterized by syncretism in which local nativistic worship was incorporated into Buddhist practice. For example, Tendai, Shingon, Jodo, and Nichiren temples often had chapels within them dedicated to Inari Shinto worship. Within Nichiren Buddhism there was a phenomenon of Hak Shinto, Lotus Shinto closely influenced by Yoshida Shinto, anti-Buddhist sentiment had been building throughout the latter part of the Tokugawa period 1603 Scholars such as Tomonaga Nakamoto and Harada Atsutane attacked the theoretical roots of Buddhism. Critics included promoters of Confucianism, nativism, Shinto-inspired restorationists, and modernizers. Buddhism was critiqued as a needless drain on public resources and also as an insidious foreign influence that had obscured the indigenous Japanese spirit. Under attack by two policies of the day, Shinbutsu Bunri, separation of Shinto deities and Buddhas, and Heibutsu Kishaku, eradication of Buddhism. Japanese Buddhism during the Tokugawa to Meiji transition proved to be a crisis of survival. The new government promoted policies that reduced the material resources available to Buddhist temples and downgraded their role in the religious, political, and social life of the nation. The policies of Shibutsu Bunari were implemented at the local level throughout Japan but were particularly intense in three domains that were the most active in the restoration Satsuma, Choshi, and Tosa. In Satsuma, for example, by 1872 all of its 1,000-plus Buddhist temples had been abolished, their monks laicized, and their landholdings confiscated. Throughout the country thousands of Buddhist temples and, at a minimum, tens of thousands of Buddhist sutras, paintings, statues, temple bells and other ritual objects were destroyed, stolen, lost, or sold during the early years of the Restoration. Starting in the second decade of the Restoration, pushback against these policies came from Western powers interested in providing a safe harbor for Christianity and Buddhist leaders who proposed an alliance of Shinto and Buddhism to resist Christianity. As part of this accommodation, Buddhist priests were forced to promote key teachings of Shinto and provide support for national policies. Nichiren Buddhism, like the other Buddhist schools, struggled between accommodation and confrontation. The Nichiren scholar Udana in Nichiki (1800–1859) argued for a policy of coexistence with other schools of Buddhism, Confucianism, Nativism, and European religions. His disciple Arai Nisatsu forged an alliance of several Nichiren branches and became the first superintendent of the present Nichiren Shu which was incorporated in 1876. Nisatsu was active in Buddhist intersect cooperation to resist the government's hostile policies, adopted the government's great teaching policy that was Shinto-derived, and promoted intersectarian understanding. In the process, however, he reinterpreted some of Nichiren's important teachings. Among those arguing against accommodation were Nichiren scholar and lay believer Agawa Taito (1814–1878) and the cleric Honda Nisho (1867–1931) of the Kempen Hock denomination. After the above events and centuries of splintering based on dogma and institutional histories, the following major Nichiren temple schools, according to Matsunaga, were officially recognized in the Meiji era. 1874, Nichiren Shu, formerly Minobu Manryu. This school's headquarters was at Kuanji Temple and held the Ichi perspective that advocated the equal treatment of all sections of the Lotus Sutra. However, it also included five schools that maintained the Shoretsu perspective which emphasized the latter half of the Lotus Sutra, Mayamanji, Hapan, Hanjo-ji, Hanryu-ji, and Fuji-ha. 1876, the Fuju Fuse Ha was recognized by the government after years of clandestine operation following episodes of persecution. In 1882 a second Fuju Fuse sect was recognized, the Fuju Fuse Komen Ha, 1891, the five Shoretsu schools changed their names Miyomanji Ha became Kempen Hak based at Miyomanji, Kyoto Hapan Ha became Hanman Hakushu based in Hanjo-ji, Niigata Hanjo-ji Ha became Hakushu based in Hanryu-ji, Kyoto Hanryu-ji Ha became Hanmyo Hakushu, also based in Hanryu-ji, Kyoto Fuji Ha became Hanmanchu in Manmanji, Shizuoka 1900. The Teizeki ji Temple of Shizuoka broke off from the Hanmanchu and became Nichirenchu Fuji Ha. 
In 1913 this group was renamed Nichiren Shosha which was popularized by the Soka Gakkai Lei organization. Although the latter has a sizable membership and it is one of the important Japanese new religions Shinshukyo, it is not included in many treatments of Nichiren lineages. Topic. Development in modern Japanese history Topic. Nichiren Buddhism went through many reforms in the Meiji period during a time of persecution, Heibutsu Kishaku, Feifo Weishi when the government attempted to eradicate mainstream Japanese Buddhism. As a part of the Meiji Restoration, the interdependent Danka system between the state and Buddhist temples was dismantled which left the latter without its funding. Buddhist institutions had to align themselves to the new nationalistic agenda or perish. Many of these reform efforts were led by lay people. The trend toward lay centrality was prominent in Nichiren Buddhism as well, predating the Meiji period. Some Nichiren reformers in the Meiji period attempted to inject a nationalistic interpretation of Nichiren's teachings, others called for globalist perspectives. According to Japanese researcher Yoshiro Tamura, the term Nichirenism applies broadly to the following three categories. The ultranationalistic preoccupation with Nichiren that contributed to Japan's militaristic effort before World War II. Socialist activists and writers during the pre-war and post-war eras who promoted a vision of an ideal world society inspired by the Lotus Sutra and according to their own views of Nichiren. Organized religious bodies that were inspired by Nichiren's teachings. Topic. As a form of nationalism. Topic. Both Nichiren and his followers have been associated with fervent Japanese nationalism specifically identified as Nichirenism between the Meiji period and the conclusion of World War II. The nationalistic interpretation of Nichiren's teachings were inspired by lay Buddhist movements like Kokuhakai or Kenzhakai and resulted in violent historical events such as the May 15 Incident and the League of Blood Incident. Among the key proponents of this interpretation are Chigaku Tanaka who founded the Kokuhakai English, Nation's Pillar Society. Tanaka was charismatic and through his writings and lecturers attracted many followers such as Kanji Ishiwara. Nisho Honda advocated the unification Japanese Buddhists to support the imperial state. Other ultra-nationalist activists who based their ideas on Nichiren were Iki Kita and Nisho Inoue. Topic. As a form of socialism Topic. Nichirenism also includes several intellectuals and activists who reacted against the pre-war ultranationalistic interpretations and argued for an egalitarian and socialist vision of society based on Nichiren's teachings and the Lotus Sutra. These figures ran against the growing tide of Japanese militarism and were subjected to political harassment and persecution. A leading figure in this group was Jairo Seno who formed the new Buddhist Youth League Shinko Bukkyo Seinen Damai. Originally influenced by the ideals of Tanaka and Honda, Jairo Seno came to reject ultra-nationalism and argued for humanism, socialism, pacifism, and democracy as a new interpretation of Nichiren's beliefs. He was imprisoned for two years under the National Security Act. The same fate was also endured by Sunisaburo Makaguchi, who refused the religious dictum of Shinto display accepted by Nichiren Shosha for the Soka Kyoiku Gakkai, his lay organization composed of primarily secretaries and teachers until it grew to become Soka Gakkai after World War II. Topic. Within new social and religious movements Topic. Several Nichiren-inspired religious movements arose and appealed primarily to this segment of society with a message of alleviating suffering salvation for many poor urban workers. Hanman Butsoryu Shu, an early example of lay-based religious movements of the modern period inspired by Nichiren, was founded several years before the Meiji Restoration. Ryukai, Risho Kosikai stemming from Nichiren Shu while Kens Hakai and Soka Gakai, once affiliated with Nichiren Shosha, are more recent examples of lay-inspired movements drawing from Nichiren's teachings and life. In culture and literature Accordingly, Nichiren Buddhism has had a major impact on Japan's literary and cultural life. Japanese literary figure Takayama Chogyu and Children's 
S. author Kenji Miyazawa praised Nichiren's teachings. Another prominent researcher, Masaharu Anasaki was encouraged to study Nichiren which led to the latter's work Nichiren, the Buddhist prophet which introduced Nichiren to the West. Non-Buddhist Japanese individuals such as Uchimura Kanzo listed Nichiren as one of five historical figures who best represented Japan while Tadao Yanaihara described Nichiren as one of the four historical figures he most admired. Globalization while various sects and organizations have had a presence in nations outside Japan for over a century, the ongoing expansion of Nichiren Buddhism overseas started in 1960 when Soka Gakkai president Daisaku Ikeda initiated his group's worldwide propagation efforts growing from a few hundred transplanted Japanese to over 3,500 families just by 1962. Nichiren Buddhism is now practiced in many countries outside of Japan. In the United States Prebish coined the typology of two Buddhisms", to delineate the divide between forms of Buddhism that appealed either primarily to people of the Asian diaspora or to Euro-American converts. Natier, on the other hand, proposes a three-way typology, import, or elite. Buddhism refers to a class of people who have the time and means to seek Buddhist teachers to appropriate certain Buddhist techniques such as meditation, export or evangelical. Buddhism refers to groups that actively proselytize for new members in their local organizations, baggage, or ethnic. Buddhism refers to diaspora Buddhists, usually of a single ethnic group, who have relocated more for social and economic advancement than for evangelical purposes. Another taxonomy divides Western Buddhist groups into three different categories evangelical, church like, and meditational. Nichiren Shu has been classified into the church like category. One of several Japanese Buddhist schools that followed in the wake of Japanese military conquest and colonization, Nichiren Shu opened a temple in Pusan, Korea in 1881. Its fortunes rose and diminished with the political tides but eventually failed. It also established missions in Sakhalin, Manchuria, and Taiwan. A Nichiren Shu mission was established in Hawaii in 1900. By 1920 it established temples at Pahala, Honolulu, Wailuku and Maui. In 1955 it officially started a mission in Brazil. In 1991 it established the Nichiren Buddhist International Center in 1991 and in 2002 built a center in Hayward, California, to help overseas missions. However, Nichiren Shu does not widely propagate in the West. Some have characterized the Soka Gakkai as evangelical but others claim that it broke out of the two Buddhisms paradigm. It is quite multi-ethnic and it has taken hold among native populations in locations including Korea, Malaysia, Brazil, Europe, parts of Africa, India, and North America. The growth of the Soka Gakkai was sparked by repeated missionary trips beginning in the early 1960s by Daisaku Ikeda, its third president. In 1975 the Soka Gakkai International was launched in Guam. In the United States it has attracted a diverse membership including a significant demographic of African Americans. Since the 1970s it has created institutions, publications and exhibitions to support its overall theme of peace, culture, and education. There is academic research on various national organizations affiliated with this movement, the United States, the United Kingdom, Italy, Canada, Brazil, Scotland, Southeast Asia, Germany, and Thailand. The Risho Kosei Kai focuses on using its teachings to promote a culture of religiosity through inter-religious dialogue. In 1967, it launched the Faith to All Men movement to awaken a globalized religiosity. It has over 2 million members and 300 Dharma centers in 20 countries throughout the world including Frankfurt and Morslead. It is active in interfaith organizations, including the International Association for Religious Freedom and Religions for Peace it has consultative states with the United Nations and since 1983 issues an annual peace prize to individuals or organizations worldwide that work for peace and development and promote interreligious cooperation. The Ryukai conducts more typical missionary activities in the West. It has a membership of between 500 and 1,000 members in Europe, concentrated in Italy, Spain, England, and France. 
The approximately 1,500 members of the Nihonzen Myohoji have built peace pagodas, conducted parades beating the drum while chanting the Daimoku, and encouraged themselves and others to create world peace. Nichiren Shosha has six temples in the United States led by Japanese priests and supported by lay Asians and non Asians. There is one temple in Brazil and the residing priest serves as a circuit rider to attend to other locations. Topic. Lists of major schools and organizations Topic. The following lists are based on English-language Wikipedia articles and the Japanese Wikipedia article on Nichiren Buddhism. Topic. Clerical Nichiren Buddhist schools and their head temples Topic. In alphabetical order, Japanese characters preceded by ya, linked to articles in the Japanese Wikipedia. Topic: 20th century movements and lay organizations. Topic: In alphabetical order, Japanese characters preceded by ya, linked to articles in the Japanese Wikipedia. Busho Gonenkai Kyodan, founded in 1950 by Kaichi Sekiguchi and Tamino Sekiguchi. Fuji Tezeki Ji Kenshikai, also just Kenshikai, ya, Fushi Da Shi Si Shian Jung Wei, founded in 1942 and expelled from Nichiren Shosha in 1978. Hakko, lay organization closely affiliated with Nichiren Shosha. Kokohakai Ya, Guo Zhu Wei, also Guo Zhu Wei, a nationalist group founded in 1914 by Tanaka Chigaku. Myachikai Kyodan, founded in 1950 by Miyamoto Mitsu. Myotakai Kyodan, founded in 1951. Nipponzen Myohoji Daisanga, founded in 1917 by Nichidatsu Fuji. Ryukai Spiritual Friendship Association, founded in 1920 by Kakutaro Kubo and Kimi Katani, Ryukai considers itself the grandfather of lay-based new religions devoted to the Lotus Sutra and ancestor veneration. Risho Kosei Kai, founded in 1938 by Nikio Nawano and Myoko Naganuma Shishinkai, founded in 1980. Soka Gakai, founded in Japan in 1930 by Sunisaburo Makaguchi and Soka Gakai International founded in 1975 by Daisaku Ikeda. Bibliography Translations of Nichiren's writings Topic. The Gosho Translation Committee, The Writings of Nichiren Daishonin, Volume 1, Soka Gakkai, 2006. ISBN 4-412-01024-4 The Gosho Translation Committee, The Writings of Nichiren Daishonin, Volume 2, Soka Gakkai, 2006. ISBN 4-412-01350-2 Kyatsu Hori, Transil, Sakashita, J. Ed. Writings of Nichiren Shonen, Doctrine 1, University of Hawaii Press, 2003, ISBN 0 8248 2733 3. Tanabe Jr., George, Ed. Hori, Kyatsu, Writings of Nichiren Shonen, Doctrine 2, University of Hawaii Press, 2002, ISBN 0 8248 2551 9. Kyatsu Hori, Transil, Sakashita, J. Ed. Writings of Nichiren Shonen, Doctrine 3, University of Hawaii Press, 2004, ISBN 0 8248 2931 X. Kyatsu Hori, Transil, J. Sakashita, Ed. Writings of Nichiren Shonen, Doctrine 4, University of Hawaii Press, 2007, ISBN 0 8248 3180 2. Kyatsu Hori, Transil, Sakashita, J. Ed. Writings of Nichiren Shonen, Doctrine 5, University of Hawaii Press, 2008, ISBN 0 8248 3301 5. Kyatsu Hori, Transil, Sakashita, J. Ed. Writings of Nichiren Shonen, Doctrine 6, University of Hawaii Press, 2010, ISBN 0 8248 3455 0. Selected Writings of Nichiren Burton Watson et al., Trans, Philip B. Yampolsky, ed. Columbia University Press, 1990. Single quote single quote. 
Letters of Nichiren. Burton Watson et al., trans, Philip B. Yampolsky, ed. Columbia University Press, 1996 Full Disclosure Statement, although Soka Gakkai retains the copyrights on the foregoing two works and financed their publication, they show some deviation from similar works published under Soka Gakkai's own name. Website for English language translations of works essential to the study of Nichiren Buddhism Soka Gakkai Nichiren Buddhism Library Die Schriften Nichiren Die Shonens, Helwig Schmidt Glinzer, Trans, Verlag Herder, 2014, ISBN 978-3451334542 Topic English Topic Topic Recent Scholarship Topic Boring, Paul. Kornicki, Peter, The Cambridge Encyclopedia of Japan, eds. Cambridge University Press, 1993. ISBN 0-521-40352-9 referred to in text as Cambridge, Coston, Richard, Buddha in Daily Life, An Introduction to the Buddhism of Nichiren Daishonin, 1995. ISBN 0712674566-X The Doctrines and Practice of Nichiren Shosha. Nichiren Shosha Overseas Bureau, 2002 Ikeda, Daisaku, Unlocking the Mysteries of Birth and Death, Little, Brown, 1988. ISBN 9780356154985 Japan, An Illustrated Encyclopedia. Kondansha, 1993, ISBN 4-06-205938-X, CD-ROM version, 1999. Referred to in text as Illustrated, Lotus Seeds, The Essence of Nichiren Shu Buddhism. Nichiren Buddhist Temple of San Jose, 2000. ISBN 0-9705920-0-0 Matsunaga, Dagon, Matsunaga, Alicia Foundation of Japanese Buddhism, Vol. 2, The Mass Movement Kamakura and Muromachi Periods, Los Angeles, Tokyo, Buddhist Books International, 1988 Fourth Printing. ISBN 0-914910-28-0 Metro, Daniel, The Soka Gakkai International, Global Expansion of a Japanese Buddhist Movement, http colon slash slash online library dot wiley dot com slash doi slash ten dot one 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 slash rec three dot one twenty seventy slash abstract, religion compass, v. seven number ten. Montgomery, Daniel B., Fire in the Lotus, The Dynamic Buddhism of Nichiren. Mandala, HarperCollins, 1991. ISBN 1-85274-091-4 The Soka Gakkai Dictionary of Buddhism. Soka Gakkai, 2002, ISBN 4-412-01205-0 Online Stone, Jacqueline I., Original Enlightenment and the Transformation of Medieval Japanese Buddhism Studies in East Asian Buddhism, University of Hawaii Press 2003, ISBN 978-0824827717 English language works, late 19th and early 20th century is topic Listed in chronological order ASAI, Nisatsu, 1893 Outlines of the Doctrine of the Nichiren Sect, with the Life of Nichiren, the Founder of the Nichiren Sect, edited by the Central Office of the Nichiren Sect, https colon slash slash books dot google dot at slash books slash about slash outlines underscore of underscore the underscore doctrine underscore of underscore the underscore Nichiren dot html question mark id equals we o ua a radir underscore esk equals y free download Broughton, BL, 1936, Nichiren Shonen. In the Maha Bodhi, Vol. 44. Calcutta, the Maha equals Bodhi Society. pp. 317-322, 375-391. Free download at https colon slash slash archive dot org slash details slash in dot ernet dot dot twenty fifteen dot seven oh seven eight four slash page slash n three three seven Lloyd, Arthur, nineteen twelve, The Creed of Half of Japan nineteen twelve. New York, E. P. Dutton and Company. HTTP colon slash slash www.sacred-texts.com slash bud slash chj slash chj26. htm Anasaki, Masaharu, 1916, Nichiren, The Buddhist Prophet, Cambridge, Harvard University Press, https colon slash slash play.google.com slash book slash reader question mark it equals ubo ka ayaj and printsec equals front cover and output equals reader and hl equals n and 
PG equals GBS. PR3 Reischauer, August Carl, 1917, Studies in Japanese Buddhism, New York, Macmillan, https colon slash slash play. Google. com slash books slash reader question mark it equals muayaayaj and printsec equals front cover and output equals reader and HL equals N and PG equals GBS. Pa2 Satomi, Kishio, 1923, Japanese Civilization, Its Significance and Realization, Nichirenism and the Japanese National Principles, Routledge, 2013, Digital Reprint, https colon slash slash books. Google. com slash books question mark id equals F dash Garvnam 4 C and PG equals PR7 and DQ equals death plus Nichiren and HL equals N and SA equals X and VED equals O A Hukuk 49 Nikon 7 Dawam dash Akaijisi way 4 Hadakmau hash V equals 1 page and Q and F equals false Takakusu, Junjiro, The Essentials of Buddhist Philosophy, Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, HTTPS colon slash slash books. Google. at slash books question mark id equals which underscore tmic and pg equals pr3 and dq equals junjir percent c5 percent 8d plus takakusu colon plus the plus essentials plus of plus buddhist plus philosophy and hl equals de and source equals gbs underscore selected underscore pages and cad equals 2 hash v equals 1 page and q equals nichiren and f equals false topic japanese topic nichiren shosha yogi ri lian zhong zong yao yi the essential tenets of nichiren Shosha. Teizeki G, 1978, Rev. Ed. 1999. Shimpan Bukyo Tetsugaku Daijitan, Shinban Fo Jiao Zai Zai Da Si Dan. Grand Dictionary of Buddhist Philosophy, Rev. Ed. Saikyo Shimbunsha, 1985. No ISBN. Nichiren Shosha Shi no Kisateki Kenkyu. Ri Lian Zheng Zong Shi no Ji Chu De Yan. A Study of Fundaments of Nichiren Shosha History. Rev. Yamaguchi Hando. Sankibo Busho Rin, 1993. ISBN 4 7963 0763X. Ivanami Nihonshi Jaten, Yanbo Riben Shi Si Dan. Ivanami Dictionary of Japanese History. Ivanami Shoten, 1999. ISBN 4 00 080093 0. Referred to in text as Ivanami. Nichiren Shosha Nayuman. Rilian Zheng Zong Ruman Introduction to Nichiren Shosha. Teizeki G. 2002. Kyogaku Yogo Kaisetsu Shu. Zhao Zhe Jia Shuo Yang Yu. Glossary of Nichiren Shosha Buddhist Terms. Rev. Kyoto Anoki, Comp. Wato Henshushitsu, 2006. Topic. See also. Topic. Kodadama. Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Encyclopedia Britannica Soka Gakkai East Asian Religions Nichiren Buddhism Shorio Terabini Undated a response to questions from Soka Gakkai practitioners regarding the similarities and differences among Nichiren Shu, Nichiren Shosha and the Soka Gakkai.